even if you don't have the best smartphone camera on the market, you can still take better smartphone photos with a couple easy tips. The first is composition. Now you may have heard about the rule of thirds. Basically, it turns your shot into a grid. Now, I know you wanna put everything in the center, but if you put something interesting at the intersection of any two grid lines, it helps draw you in more. On Galaxy phones, the easy way to do this is to go to settings, then turn on grid lines. Now line up your image and shoot. You can see how this pic draws your eyes to the subject. Another feature for the pros is the ability to adjust settings like you would a DSLR camera. Just enable pro mode and you can adjust exposure, aperture, white balance, and more for complete control of the outcome of the image. And once you have the image, there are some pro-level tools right on your Galaxy S20 to let you edit on the fly. One thing I like to do on Galaxy phones, especially the S20, is adjust the style and add spot color. Style is especially cool because it makes your photo look like a painting. And if you want to edit a photo from a while ago, say earlier in our Marfa Lights adventure, I could do this through voice search by searching for people, places, or time. Like all of our mountain shots or all of our night shots. I also can't talk about mountain shots without talking about the telephoto lens. And the Galaxy S20 has the best one, like by far. It has a hundred times space zoom. So what's 300 feet away looks like it's only three feet away. But I can't help you if you want to shoot landscapes in portrait mode. Technology can only do so much. Anyway, hope these tips help you create even better photos in your Galaxy S20.